My grandmother, my link to the past since my first Brahmo Samaj prayer meeting on her lap, encouraged me to rediscover Ram Mohan, India's first modern savant. He was also a successful trader, a man of letters, philosopher, politician, and a social reformer who founded the Brahmo Samaj. Ram Mohan, of course, was born in an age when the zamindars of Bengal had accepted the company's rule. Tradition, however, gave him a Sanskrit education, backed up with Arabic and Persian, the court language. By his teens, he was fluent in all three Asian languages, along with his mother tongue, Bengali. Ram Mohan, English theo likhe chen, Bangla theo likhe chen. Tar rochana bolii du khande bolii chhe, English rochana bolii. Jabon achhe, thimni Bangla ei, thiri prishul likhe chhe. Tar bothe, thiri shei kal ta ke tule thora chista kuchhen. এবং সমকালের যে প্রতিকূলতা প্রতিবাদ তার মধ্যে দেখা দিয়েছে সেই সময় তার বিরুদ্ধাচরণ সেটা শুধু ব্যক্তিগত বিরুদ্ধাচরণ নয় এটা মনে রাখতে হবে যে রামমোহন ব্যক্তিগতভাবে কোনো কারোর শত্রুতা মনে পোষণ করেননি বা করতেন না তিনি একটা আদর্শ যে আদর্শটা ওই যুক্তি সাহায্যে মনস্বিতার সাহায্যে মননের সাহায্যে উপস্থিত করার চেষ্টা করছে Much of the world justifiably remembers him by his spirited fight against the forced immolation of Hindu widows in their husband's funeral pyre. A deeply entrenched ritual, Sati was condoned by faith and guarded by vested interests. The movement for its abolition began with Ram Mohan's personal experience, the immolation of his brother Jagamohan's widow in 1811. Even as a child, I knew from my grandma that it was Ram Mohan who wrote the original trust deed on the basis of which the Brahmo Samaj came into being. It came as the culmination of a lifetime's endeavor by one who was as much a man of action as a man of thought and letters. Ram Mohan's lifelong admiration for historic landmarks like the American War of Independence and the French Revolution came with his Rangpur experience along with new linguistic skills opening windows to European enlightenment and the values of liberty and equality. Ram Mohan left for England on 19th November 1830 to reach its shores on 18th April 1831. His long voyage was distinguished by his encounter with the French tricolor flying on a vessel in the high seas. His excitement and insistence that he be carried on board the French ship despite his indisposition shows his enthusiasm for the values he associated with the revolution i think what he did was in britain anyway as well partly in calcutta was he astounded the british people he lectured he spoke he went into the houses of parliament he gave evidence to the privy council all of whom listened to him with i'm not exaggerating or an admiration so in a sense ram mohan is one of the earliest people who is teaching us the virtues of nonviolent protest not just waving one sword and dying fighting but of living to fight another day and to protest yet another day 